Now, kids are stressed and upset. In fact, research has shown that since 2006, the use of anxiety and antidepressant medicine for children has increased in Aotearoa by 80%. Our next guest has developed a program for school kids that he is hoping will see that number drop. Welcome back to the show, wellness expert Jace Tapatu. Good morning. Kia ora, kia ora. Really, kia ora. really nice to have you here. Uh, first up, were you shocked by that statistic? Alarming. <laughs> Alarming, but it kind of is no surprise given the state of our suicide rates for youth and also yeah. for men, particularly Māori men. I'm really interested in this work because, you know, I am a Māori man myself and I've had friends who have passed from suicide, so... You know, my, with all my heart and all the tools that I've gleaned throughout my life, I just want to be able to help, yeah. I suppose, our tamariki in some way. Why do you think kids are so stressed? What's causing it? Oh, so many things. You know, I, my nephews, I saw them last last week, they were like, Uncle, do you play Fortnite? No. You know, there's Don't, so many yeah. distractions yeah. Yeah. and yeah. extracurricular activities and uh, expectations and how can we... Uh, you know, what would be possible if our kids were able to find some stillness in mm. their life and some peace and some calm in amongst their busy days and lives? Yeah, because there's a lot going on, and you're right, all the stimulants t constantly almost, and mm -hmm. they want to be up in the game and know what's happening, mm -hmm. uh, especially Dinya, don't talk to me about Fortnite. Right. So how does, how does your program help? Well, it's uh, three components. The first is mindfulness, and uh, the last time I was here to speak about how I teach uh, yoga yeah. and meditation uh, for men. Uh, and so I come with that background. That's the mindfulness aspect. There's two other components. Yep. The second component is uh, Māori mythology, uh, where I tell uh, Māori myth, you can see from the visuals. And then uh, the third is some movement, so I get the kids to move um, and put the story, the Māori myth, into their body so that it somatizes and, they, and the story lands for them when they put the story into their bodies. And they're great mimics, you know, they know all of the words to every Disney movie yeah. ever and so, you know, uh, it lands and I've been told it's fun, I'm a big kid myself, so I, ju I just help them to find some stillness at the end. The last thing is they're still, and so they lie down and they imagine the sun's on them perfect temperature. You know, just give them some simple user-friendly tools to be able to find some calmness in their day. That sounds gorgeous. Well, yeah, let's have a listen to what some of the kids had to say. It's one time where you can be relaxed and you can, like, actually think about stuff, like, because you don't usually get your own quiet time. Uh, when I get really, really stressed, I use Tahi Ruatoluha to um, just calm me down. That is awesome because nice. they do need that calmness. They really do. So, so tell me a little bit, what is Tahirua Toruha? Super simple. We all breathe, but what this mindfulness program gives is take something that's automatic in our lives and makes it conscious. And mindfulness to me is being super present and aware. Mm. And so when you make the kids slow their breath down by Tahirua Toruha, breathing in on the count of three, Tahirua Toruha. And the word for ha in Māori uh, means breath. And so it just allows them to, I, again in Māori, to, to feel settled and grounded and peaceful. It only takes five rounds of breath like that with that technique for the kids to just find that, like what those guys beautifully said, just to find that calmness and help them deal with, you know, their younger brother who's been annoying or things that aren't going their way. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that simple breath tool is actually a really great tool to take throughout their whole lives you got it it can stop you as an adult and like you know just take you make take a moment take it, a breath and just calm down a little bit you got it i did it i said to mike the last time i was here i forgot because i'm from wellington uh, the, the traffic <laughs> i had to do that myself so it's good that i practice what i preach and i got a great opportunity today driving here to, yeah. to see i you. often do breathing exercises when i'm driving because you've got nice. all the time in the world too because you're stuck in traffic so what do you reckon what can parents do at home sort of to help their kids unwind a bit I feel just give space, you know, instead of loading the kids up with opportunity. I'm certainly by no means telling you how to parent, but offering some space and maybe just a night where the tablet gets put down for an hour. Mm. One of my friends, she's like, okay, tools down, everybody, let's have a, let's talk or let's have dinner together so we're present and we have a quarter all together so that everyone knows what's going on in our lives and it's not just fleeting. It's not you yeah. on your computer, dad doing his work yeah. and then the kids playing Fortnite. It's everyone engaging. We've missed that, you know, just simple quarter all can just fuck a toe, the whanau, 
like just really settle the mm. whānau. And it's really that. interesting though because it's very easy to look around your family and realise that everyone is doing separate things. You know what, board games are great yes. because if you actually get them out and play them, people, the kids absolutely enjoy it. I just want to ask you quickly about your, what you're talking about, the Māori mytho uh, mythology that you bring into it. Yes. So how do you incorporate that into the mindfulness? So our Māori myths have some really beautiful themes and topics that are, uh, uh, you know, that resonate with everyone, not just children. Yeah. And uh, because I was teaching at schools in Wellington, I saw how diverse the cultures were. And there was a sense of the children not really knowing where they're from here in Aotearoa. And you know, I love, I was brought up uh, speaking Māori, and I love our stories. So I use that as a way to engage the kids, because you can't just in mindfulness program go, hey, hey guys, sit down, be quiet. Be yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes, right, yeah, and that's just gonna fail. But. Uh, but you engage them with the storytelling. I'm a big, like I said, kid, and I've had a theatre background, so I, I use all the tools I've been given throughout my life to entertain the kids and then settle them. Because yeah. once they're engaged and once they're hooked, then they, they're, they're going to listen. And yeah. as they sit forward, and so I teach them, like today we uh, talked about uh, rata and the totara tree, and the main theme is respect. And who here can't... Uh, you know, can't benefit from the theme of respect. Respect yeah. for others, respect for things, respect for yourself. That's awesome. Mm. Hey, thank you so much for that. Uh, we could talk thank for a lot you. longer, but respectfully, Same. we have to go now. <laughs> We've run out of respect time. Thank you for that too. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Jason, all the best for the uh, the work too. M3 well programme, as it's called.